Yes, welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be focused on how I find the balance and the rhythm to stay healthy and fit as a dad, as a husband, as a business owner. A lot of it's gonna be voiceovers. Leave a comment if you actually enjoy those voiceovers or if you'd rather see maybe more of a vlog, day in the life type of feel, or both. So, with that being said, let's get into the video. Whole family's at the studio. Josh and I are doing the cold plunge, hitting the workout. Ladies, the mamas were out here doing lunges and whatnot, so it's a beautiful day. And it's family fitness, generational health. We like that. That's what it's all about, baby. Your shorts match the sky. Ooh. Do that. Yours or mine? Yours. Mine. These are teal. Well, so is the sky. Speaking of the sky. These things right here are all the motivation we need as dads to stay fit and strong. All right, so the first concept is to embrace the chaos. Now the opposite of embracing chaos is to resist and to fight against it or even to run away from the chaos. But for me, this is a recipe for just being exhausted all the time. Because the fact is life is messy. The only thing that's constant is change. And constant change can be a bit chaotic, but that's the beauty of life. Learning to enjoy the mess and still show up, still get better, still improve is the art of living. So I found the best way to approach the messiness of life is to embrace it with open arms. This frees me up to be okay with imperfect progress. I remind myself often that life happens for me and therefore the chaos and the mess is always teaching me something if I'm willing to learn. When my wife Gigi and I had our first daughter, life instantly got more chaotic but also a lot more beautiful. Everything from how we wake up, to how we go to bed, to how we eat dinners and meals together, everything's different. We face new challenges every single day, but all we can do is embrace it. Because if I just always try to avoid the chaos, I end up avoiding life itself because life is a beautiful, chaotic mess. So the first concept is to embrace the chaos. Learn to let go and go with the flow in life. This is the starting point to staying fit for yourself and for your family. I'm fully, fully alive, fully awake. Hi. <laughs> so cold. Always worth it though. Always freaking worth it. The second concept that helps me stay healthy and lead by example for my family is remembering that we are on the same team. We are made to be connected. We were never made to be divided or to live separated. And so one of the biggest game changers in my life was this, when I realized my wife and I are actually on the same team. And so this means we're working for the same goal, health, love, happiness, making memories together with our family and growing in our God-given purpose in this life. This means there's no actual win for me that's at the expense of my wife and vice versa. What's good for her is also good for me. And when I grow and become more me, she benefits and she grows as a result. When I take great care of myself and my health, our whole family wins because they get a better, healthier version of dad. So that may look like waking up earlier and taking care of myself, getting a workout in before the baby wakes up. I may have to rearrange my schedule or my agenda to fit our family's needs that day. But knowing that we're on the same team does not mean I let myself go. It does not mean I let my health take a back seat. In fact, it's actually the opposite. One of the best ways I can love my family well is to show up for myself and take great care of myself every single day. Because when I fill up my own cup, I'm able to be the best possible husband, father, and leader that my family needs and deserves. So prioritizing my own health and my own fitness helps me be the most energetic, loving, and present dad I can possibly be. And when this happens, we all win. My wife, my baby girl, our future children, and our future all benefit because I remember we're on the same team and I remember that my wins are their wins too. You love the man in your life, don't you? You love the man in your life, don't oh, you? Look at that. And the third and final concept is 
generational health is much greater than generational wealth. Now there's a lot of talk about building generational wealth, but if the first true wealth is health, then I'd argue the most important thing to do is to create generational health, not only for our families now, but for our families in the future. Of course, this doesn't mean I don't work hard to provide, but it does mean that I can never neglect the first true wealth. Because the fact is, my family's ability to enjoy any wealth that I create, both now and in the future, is really dependent on how healthy and whole they actually are. Health means wholeness. Health is a way of being. Health is a lifestyle, it's holistic in nature, body, mind, and spirit. And this is why it's so essential for me to integrate all aspects of my being when I think about being healthy and being fit. So physical health is the most tangible and obvious one of the three. This comes down to making sure I'm resting well, I'm moving often, I'm fueling properly, and I'm training consistently. Next up, mental health. This is maybe not as obvious as physical health, but to me it's a lot more important. This is why I choose to invest in myself by getting coaching, getting mentors, surrounding myself with people who are sharpening me. I prioritize continuing my education and always being open to learning. So I choose to read pretty regularly and always develop my growth mindset. And last but certainly not least is spiritual health. This to me is the most important aspect of my health which is why I spend time in the Word every single day, no matter if it's two minutes or 20 minutes, I make that a priority. I also do my best to practice the presence of God, prayer, talking to God, meditating on His Word, His promises, finding ways to be still in the secret place, as Jesus would call it. That way I'm always living from a place of love, joy, and peace. This is the heritage I plan on leaving for my family. And this is what creating generational health looks like for me. All right, there you have it. Those are my three biggest concepts that I've made the biggest difference in my life, my health, my fitness, and more importantly, for my family's health and leading by example. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe, leave a comment. I plan on doing some more vlog style videos, of course more voiceovers because I feel like they are super valuable. But yeah, click this video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.